Hello everyone, this is Fahan from FahanReviews.com and in this quick video I want to show you a software that I'm using to manage my remote windows VPS servers um, so I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five windows VPS instances and also um, three local VPS servers I have on my own LAN and I was looking for something to manage them all in one easy place because the windows setup was a bit annoying and it was I find it resource intensive and also just a bit fiddly to get going, it's annoying. But this is uh, a free software called, uh, by Devolution, called RemoteDesktopManager.com. Oh sorry, that's where you can get it, but you can get it, RemoteDesktopManager.com. And you want to go here for the free edition. Now this is enterprise level software, but you're getting it for free because obviously they want to get people on board. And I don't think they've ever emailed me or they've ever tried to upsell me. But you need to register an account with uh, Devolution, this company. It's a free account and I, they never, I can't remember any emails they've sent me to try and upsell me. So that's a, that's a plus. And then you, they, you can just download the software and then once you log in, you can either start a 78 day trial or log in to your free Devolutions account. So it's better to register beforehand. And there, then you get access to the software. Let me just pull my window across and show you. Okay, so this is the interface for, um, uh, for Remote Desktop Manager. So as you can see, oops, I have to blur some of these. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine servers on there. Uh, this is one of my one of my uh, my my bigger Windows VPS server. I think it's six CPU and four gig of RAM. I use this to run like apps like Scrapebox and some of the backlinking tools and so on. And um, what I like with this uh, with this software is that you can quickly switch between your servers. And then you've got, also you've got the tabs along the top where you can quickly switch between them. Um, you can export all of your servers and move them to another machine. Um, and yeah, it's just basically really easy. And now I'll, sh I'll show you how to quickly add a server. So you click on the plus icon. It might be off screen actually. But you click on the plus icon in the top left corner. And you, you add a new session, uh, RDP, Microsoft, do OK. Drag that across. And just enter the name. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do that. Leave all this. And then uh, under host, enter the IP address of the server. So for example, 192.168.1.1. That's my IP address of the server if it was local. The port is, should be standard. Let me cancel actually. The port should be standard. Um, I think it's 80 or 8080, I'm not sure. It's just set to default. But it depends what your, your host gives you. RDB type uh, normal. The username that you've been given. And the password. You can save the password as well. Save it locally. That's what I normally do. And then I recommend you click on display. So they'll always start off with a very tiny screen. Um, but what I normally do, I normally set it to this screen I'm on currently is 198. No, no, 1920 by 1200. I normally set it to something like 1600 by 1200 or 1600 by 1024. So I don't have to scroll up and down on the screen. And sorry, and um, what else do I need to change? That's all fine. There are a lot of settings you can change up front here before you get, get into it, but that's all fine. I leave it like that. Um, I don't need to show any printers. That's fine. Yeah, there's more stuff you can change there. That's fine. Default connection. That's fine. So from here you can just um. Uh, so I'm going to enter the, the the username password. Just save password. And you can log in straight away. So once you let me show you how it logs in. Oops, I have to blur the IP. That's basically. So now I've got access to this like it's on my normal desktop and um, uh, I can I think the most I've had open is about five or six when I'm running different apps so um, uh, yeah it's very it's very good software and it's re very regularly updated you get updates every two maybe three weeks and I've seen some users with a hundred servers in here so that's that's when you know that it's really good really good software when people are running that many instances at one time so yeah highly recommended I've been using it for about a year now, I think, and it's a much better alternative to the uh, the Windows default remote desktop, and it's better than anything. 
I've had a couple of paid ones, they're not that good. But this is free, and regularly updated and highly recommend it. Hope you find it useful. Uh, if you did, just give me a little comment below, subscribe, give me a like please. And thank you, see you next one, bye bye.